welcome to my channel. My name is Paige. If you've never seen my face before, please consider subscribing before you leave. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Okay, friends, so today, obviously by the title and thumbnail, you know this is gonna be all about braids. I get so many questions anytime I share a photo or a video of me and I have a braid in my hair. If you did not know, I am a cosmetologist and hair has always been a love of mine. I absolutely love all things hair. And one of my favorite techniques that I ever picked up during hair school was braiding. I knew how to do, you know, the normal plait braid that I think pretty much everybody knows how to do at this point, but French braids and cornrows and all the fun things were just so, they went right over my head. It was like my fingers were so confused and I couldn't seem to get it down. Braiding on someone else and braiding on your own hair are two totally different things. And one big request that I get is teaching you guys how to braid on your own hair. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna start off showing you just a normal plait braid. Just to kind of get your hands going. Like I said, this is a very popular braid that everybody pretty much understands and knows, but that's the one we're gonna start with. And then we're gonna move into the French braid and then into the cornrow. If this is something that you're interested in and maybe you wanna incorporate these in some really cute styles for the summer or whatever time of year it is when you're watching this make sure to leave me a comment down below that you would love to see me include some updos and different things including some braids with all that being said let's go ahead and jump into the plait braid like I said this is old school I think everybody knows how to do this I'm just gonna grab a piece of hair from the front here just to give you guys a little demonstration obviously you can use any amount of hair. You can do your whole entire head, you can do one side or the other side. I'm really just showing you the technique of everything and you can decide where you wanna place these braids. Um, but this is the plait braid. You're just gonna take a section of hair and we are going to split it into three equal sections. So we have our three sections right there. And with the plait braid, it doesn't really matter whether you cross over or under. Once we get into the more complex braids, the French braid or the cornrow, that will determine the difference in the braids. But right now, just a regular old plait braid. We're not adding any hair in as we go. It doesn't matter if you go on top or on the bottom. So we're gonna have our three pieces and every braid pretty much starts off the same. You're really working on the outside pieces of hair. This is gonna be stationary, the hair that's in the middle. And we're just going to continue to do that, <laughs> crossing over, crossing over. So you always have two pieces in one hand and one in the other. So the one that's on the outside here, we're going to cross it over. Outside here, cross it over. Outside, cross it over. Outside, cross it over. Outside, cross over, outside, cross over. Once you get the hang of this, it will really come easy and you'll be able to do it a whole lot faster without even looking at it. And there you have your plait braid. Now that we have the basic steps of a braid, pretty much just taking one piece from one side, switching it over to the other, one piece from that side, switching it over to the other. And there's always a common ground in the middle of each of those braids. So there's always gonna be that stationary piece that just kind of follows along. It doesn't really get moved any at all. So now we're going to talk about the French braid. This is where things kind of get a little tricky because instead of you just working with this one old solid piece of hair and you just braid that entire piece, we're going to feed in hair from other places. So to do this, I'm just going to section off this front section of hair, making sure to get rid of any tangles. If there are any, we want it to be as clean and neat as possible. So we're going to start from the top. Once again, this will all depend on the style that you are trying to achieve, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to start right up here. And we're going to part it straight back. So we have this nice little rectangle shaped piece. So getting my hands positioned a little bit closer to the base of those hairs, I'm gonna take this first piece over here. I like to braid this at least twice in my normal plait braid 
before I start incorporating other hair. So this is our next piece that we're going to bring across the top. So before we bring it across the top like we would with just a regular plait braid, we're going to add a piece of hair. So I'm just going to take my fingers right here and grab a small little piece of hair from underneath that section that I'm working on. Smooth it out and cross cross her over. Okay? Now we have the little section that we're going to move back to the other side. Just gonna add some hair into it. Now you can see how much bigger this is now. And we're going to cross it now. Once again, a little piece over here. Grab some hair, smooth it out, and put it back into the center of those two pieces. You can see a piece here, the piece we just moved here, and then a piece here. Now, here's our piece that we're gonna be moving again. Just gonna take another little piece of hair, add it in. You can see the two different pieces. We're gonna make those one, smooth them out, cross it over, put it in the middle of those other two pieces. So we have one, two, and three. Here's our next piece we're gonna move over. Once again, grabbing some hair, crossing it over into the middle, pulling this. The tighter you pull it as you go along, um, it will really make sure that your braid is gonna be secure and it's not gonna be moving anywhere. So then we have our last little piece left in our section, our section right here, and this is our piece we're gonna be crossing over. So I'm just gonna make those into one piece and cross over those two pieces again. Now to finish it off, you would just go back into your plait braid. And there you have your French braid. Once again, you can make this as big as you want and however big of a section, you can do your whole entire head, which is very popular. Now I'm gonna teach you the cornrow, which is actually my favorite style. Because the braid is going to be on the outside instead of underneath, because we're gonna be braiding underneath, so it makes that braid pop out. This is my favorite because I use this in pretty much all the updos that I do for myself. And I used to use these in a lot of my bridal prom, especially event clients, because they just, they look more, I don't know, appealing. I like them a whole lot more. Pretty much the same concept here. We have our section of hair and we have our little rectangle here. So breaking that once again into three sections. We got our three pieces, one, two, and three. Now, instead of taking these outer pieces over the top, we're gonna take them underneath, which is what makes the biggest difference in this braid. So we're gonna take that outer piece, bring it underneath that middle piece in between the other two, and then take this outer piece and bring it underneath those two. Now we have our outer piece and we're going to add the piece of hair in from underneath. <laughs> and just smooth that out and swing it underneath those two pieces of hair, pulling in between transitions. So we're gonna add, we're gonna add another piece of hair to this outer piece, tighten and switch. Here's our other piece. We're going to grab an additional piece from underneath and swing it underneath and tighten as we go. You can reposition your hands to make sure that everything feels comfortable to you. Then we're going to add another piece from this left side here. Tighten it before we move it over. Tighten and transition. Now here's our outer piece. Grab another piece of hair from underneath, tighten it, swing it underneath, and tighten again. Grabbing that other piece of hair here, we're gonna tighten it again, tighten this part again, and switch it underneath, tighten. <laughs> here we are with this outer piece. We're going to grab another piece from under there, swing it underneath that hair, Give it a nice little pull. Add another piece. And just continue on down until you run out of 
hair. The reason that I prefer the cornrow over the French braid for updos is because once you've secured off the section that you've braided, which obviously this isn't secured, you can sandwich out each of those sections to make it look really, really full. Even if you don't have a lot of hair and your hair's a little bit on the thinner side, you definitely can pull these sections out and give it the illusion that it, your hair is a lot fuller than what it actually is. This just is so much cuter than a little old tiny smushed together braid. And you can do so many different updo styles with this kind of braid here. Okay y'all, I hope that you are able to take something from that and you're able to start utilizing these braids in your hair so that you can come up with some really cute styles. And maybe not just a, a regular old pony, you can throw your cute little braid in the front just to give it some added texture. If you did enjoy this, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. Also don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you do wanna see a video where I'm incorporating these braids into different up styles for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I will see you in the next one and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day y'all. Bye!